mean, I was out there on the plaza, it's just a stream of little girls looking for you. Oh, <laughs> that's good for a 42-year-old woman to have a demographic of, you know, five-year-olds, because then when I'm 80, maybe they'll bring their kids to see me and I still will have a job. Yeah, little girls are your people. <laughs> A Depression-era love story first told in 1939, Ask the Dust, stars Salma Hayek as a Mexican waitress looking for the American dream who ends up finding an Italian writer played by Colin Farrell. But she's not the only one with eyes for him. Fans of Broadway will surely remember Adina Menzel from her Tony Award-winning performance in Wicked. Salma, Adina, good morning to both of you. Thanks for being here. Hello. I'm thinking you should do the interview because you interviewed Adina. Uh, for a magazine oh, yeah. back in December. That's right. Did you find anything interesting that we should talk about? Oh what, my what? God! Many things. But if I was doing the if I was doing the interview, I um, it would be very expensive for you. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Because I would say, why don't you sing some tunes from this era? She's gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> was she then a good you'd interviewer? Have to pay for the rights, you know. Then it, it becomes songs. a whole legal hassle. We don't. Was she a good interviewer? She was great. Are you kidding? Edina Menzel gave voice to Elsa in Frozen, which is now the highest grossing animated movie ever. Her Oscar winning song, Let It Go, is a runaway hit. And now Edina is back on Broadway starring in the new musical, If Then. This is her big return since her Tony winning performance in Wicked. Edina, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Not only is Frozen a huge movie, I have to say, I think you have replaced Adele's record of eight weeks at the top of the Billboard chart. We have? Yes, okay. you have. How does it feel? Are you still kind of soaking it in? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's, it's been an amazing ride, and the fact that it just connects with all these young kids is, makes it even more they do. powerful. You're like the Pied Piper of little girls now. They're, I mean, I was out there on the plaza, it's just a stream of little girls looking for you. Oh, that's good for a 42-year-old woman to have a demographic of, you know, five-year-olds, because then when I'm 80, maybe they'll bring their kids to see me and I still will have a job. Yeah, little girls are your people. I love it, I love it. Billboard magazine said about you. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that you're on the cover of Billboard magazine? I, thank you. That's the, like my first cover ever in my life. I mean, and Billboard magazine for a Broadway star to yes. make Billboard magazine. It's unheard of. It's it probably makes them crazy. I don't know, but they were so nice to have me. It's wonderful. And what they said was actually that you're having a moment more fit for a rock star than a theater actor. Well, okay. Does it feel rock star-ish? I mean, is that, and, and you were trying to pop, kind of do the crossover between pop and I was Broadway. Trying, yeah. yeah. I don't know. They think us theater people, we're too emotional or something. <laughs> we're too melodramatic. We have too much vibrato. They don't think that we can sing a song that's, you know, equipped for the radio. But um, it's breaking rules thanks to the writing of the song, Let It Go. No wizard that there is or was is ever gonna bring. She's a snorter. I snorted at myself. <laughs> oh my God! Did you ever miss that note, Adina? I, yes. Did you? No. Oh, I don't think so. One time, well, the week of the Tonys, um, it was such a, a crazy week, and then we had nine shows instead of eight because right. the Tonys, they, they whatever. Yeah. Anyway, and I got up there and I said, it, "So if you care to <laughs> look to the western the sky, and I was wrapped it out of there." Old Doctor Drick. <laughs> I gotta point out, Adina is now back on Broadway in If, if then. then. It's a contemporary musical that follows. It's a great story. Two parallel storylines of a woman who faces the intersection of choice and chance. Hi. Hi. Which is so what great is, to have. And she did two you. shows yesterday. It was here at five this four, six this morning for a sound check. You How are you guys, holding up, Dawn, I'm baby? I'm fine. You know, my son gets me up early anyway. How old is your son again? He's four. Oh, He's how four cute. Walker. Now, the concept of this mm -hmm. show is genius. It is yeah. like how all of us do. We make we meet this guy or this guy, mm -hmm. and our lives take different mm -hmm. paths. Kind of nutshell what the what the show is like. Well, yeah, it's a, uh, a woman my age <laughs> who returns 22. to New York. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Who returns to New York City from a bad marriage, and um, she's just looking to start her life over. Yeah. And before she was reminding us to let it go, in one of the most successful animated movies of all time, Adina Menzel was simply a big sister. That's right. She was just D to her little sister, Kara Menzel, who had and still has a very close relationship with Adina. Now she's written all about it. It's a new book and it's called, what a beautiful title, Voice, Voice Lessons, Lessons, A Sister's Story. <laughs> Do you all like that in stereo? Did you rehearse that? That was good. We've just gotten real You're good at it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So whose idea was it to write this book? 
Um, Good question. I had been approached about writing my own book, and I thought that would be the most boring thing ever, that I hadn't had enough interesting life experience. And my sister was always this amazing writer, and she would um, write these essays about us and send me funny stories and... and um, so I said, I, it, I'm not interested, but my sister, I think, could write something more interesting, more about uh -huh. sisters and our, our lives together instead of some silly yeah. gossipy thing about myself that <laughs> bore me to tears. <laughs> well, you're, you're an actress. You like being other people. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and putting yourself out there is a whole other thing, isn't it? But yeah, this, and it was a way to bond together. Mm -hmm. And see, I'm taking over. I'm going to let her speak. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, it's still happening. I remember saying, I remember saying, well, you know, to write a memoir, you actually have to remember things. <laughs> <laughs>